Hello, welcome to Hydrogen at Home. Here I'm just showing um, this setup I've got with a uh, 20 amp amp meter and also a voltmeter which is showing the current voltage with this 12 volt battery which is 12.52 also here I've got set up a switch and a relay. Uh, this switch isn't turning the cell on and off as such, it's turning this relay on or off. And on there I've got a 30 amp fuse as well, which is built into that relay. So that turns on, which turns on the cell. This is just my 8 plate cell, which uh, you saw in my last video. So we're going to turn that on. It's pretty cool, this switch will let you know when it's on all of a sudden you can see voltage dropping. Now this isn't on a charger, it's just from the battery, so that will go down. As we can see here we're pulling looks like about six, six and a half amps. And the cell is doing alright considering it's only six amps. Now obviously if I want to create more HHO, I um, can add some more electrolyte which will push the amps up. So I'm going to try that now. Okay, we're up to 10 amps. That's putting out a lot more now. That's up at 15 amps. And we've dropped down to 11.6 volts. That's putting out quite a lot of hydrogen and oxygen. And it's dropped back down to around 14 amps. It hasn't dropped below. 11.6 volts and we're still going strong in fact the amps have actually dropped back a little bit further nearing 13 I'm going to be doing another video straight after this one which is going to be um, using my amplifier to um, try and get a reaction out of a cell and um, yeah using different frequencies so that should be interesting It'll be interesting to see if I get any results so yeah I'll be posting that pretty soon so stay tuned